today we're going to make this cute beach bag out of three dish towels from Dollar Tree. And the only other thing you're going to need are some scissors and a glue gun. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick three dish towels from Dollar Tree. Now if you saw my haul last week, I showed you this cute pattern. How cute is this for a beach bag? And I showed you this one. And this is the one I'm going to show you on today how to do this. Now, some of you are going to say, well, I could easily just sew that together. And you can. So if that's what you want to do, then I think you should. I have a sewing machine too. I know how to sew, but I like to do things quickly. And this is a perfect project to just do it quickly. And the hot glue is going to work perfectly. It's not going to come apart on you. So if you sew, that's great. And if you just want to use hot glue, like I'm going to show you, then that's perfect too. This is only going to take you maybe 15, 20 minutes to make. And you got a cute washable. And I like it because it's nice and long. You can add your beach towel. You can add some water. You can add your phone, a magazine. you got more than enough room. And that's all this is, is three dish towels. Remember three. Then what I did was I added this little lip on here because not only with the straps, I made this ring in here so that it had some kind of a nice closure at the top so it's not flopping around. See how that's in there? So I'm going to show you real quick how to do this. So... Get your scissors. How do you like my scissors? These are my grand opening scissors, but believe it or not, they are really, really sharp and great for big projects. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut off all the tags from your dish towels, even that little tag inside because you don't want to hot glue that and then not have it work right. Okay, so you're going to line it up so you got both sides, so the insides on the inside of this. Okay. Then, if you're going to do this little fringe on the bottom, now you don't have to, you can take your hot glue and glue it all the way around and be done, but I just thought it was a nice little thing to have this little fringe on the bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut these. Now if you want more of a fringe, of course you're just going to make them thinner, and it might work better for some of you because it is kind of hard to loop these. So I'm going to show you real quick, you just take the loop, so what I did was, let me show you real quick. I cut my little fringe first, so cut it all the way down, and I have mine at about a quarter inch. If you want yours thinner, cut them however you want, and then just cut that fringe. But remember, the thinner they are, the more likely it is to start falling apart faster. So I had tied these already, and I left two, or three I should say, to show you how to do this. So, we are just going to take two, so you got your top and your bottom, see it matches, and you're just going to tie a knot. Push it through, and there you have a knot, and pull it tight, okay? And then you're going to do the other two that way, or all of them, I should say, not just the two. Okay, so we got that done. And we have the last one done. Now again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. And if you're having trouble, then you can cut them a little longer. Now I have mine, when I cut my strips, I cut them six inches. Now, some of you may not have a tape measure. What I found works just as good as a tape measure is your own hand. My hand from here to here is six inches to my thumb. So if I wanted to cut six inches from my fingertip down, that's six inches. So just cut it that way. If you want to use your whole hand, just measure your whole hand up and use that as your guide if you don't have a tape measure. Okay? So, once you have all these tied, you're just going to pull them kind of apart. And you'll notice that they'll start to come apart a little bit to shape the same thing you already had. Okay? So we got the fringe done. And if some are a little bit longer, it's no big deal. Just cut them down a little bit. It's okay. Okay? Just trim them. It doesn't matter. Terry cloth works really good. It takes a long time for it to, to shred on you. Okay, so now you got your little fringe at the bottom. Now what you're going to do is you're going to flip this inside out like this. You're going to get that little stuff in your mouth when you flip it around. See, I got it all over my shirt. Okay. So you're going to try and get it as close to here and here as you want. Now, what you want to do is you want to flip this top down here like this. But don't 
glue this inside. So what you're going to do is you're going to glue this part right here. So take your hot glue gun, we're going to glue that all the way across, but you're going to leave this little opening so that you can get that thing through there so that it tightens up your bag a little. Okay? So we're going to glue that down real fast. And I mean, this is really quick. Okay, don't close it too much because you want your thing to go to, through it. So I go right on the edge so that you have a loop there to put your piece through. Okay, so you'll notice that my hole's still there, but I glued this whole side down. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the other side, and I'm going to do the same thing. So you want to measure them up to make sure they're the same size. Okay, so that one, that one. And what I mean when I do the edge, I'm saying right here where the threading is. Do it right here. Okay, don't go on the inside because then you won't have that little loop so that you can add your little tubing there to kind of close it. And I'm going to show you that in one minute. Okay. So come straight down. See how fast this is to glue it? Okay, make sure you're using high temperature glue. Okay, got that done. Now that we have that the way we want it, we're going to glue from here where we folded it down to the base of it. Okay, this is where we're going to glue it. Okay, so from here to here, we're not going to glue where we just have these two loops at. Don't glue that shut. If you glue it shut, I mean, it's okay. You can just put your straps on. But the point of this is just to be able to tighten up. See, my finger goes in there. Okay, so we're going to glue this side down real quick. And again, you're just going on your white edge. You don't need to go any further in. And just press it down. It's that quick. Okay. Push that in. And what's nice is this is washable, so you can wash this, which is really great. Okay. Okay, one side's done. And then you want to make sure that you get your glue in here. Make sure when you get to this bottom part here, you want to make sure that you're not leaving any openings. So glue that part really good. Take the other part, open that up and get that in there, okay? So that's completely done. Now let's do this side. And this is what I mean about putting the glue. See this white trim right here? That's where you're putting your glue. Okay, because you don't want to go in too far, then your bag's going to be too small. a little glue here and there and that's okay okay so we got that all glued down now what you want to do is in between here where your knots are you have little openings so you want to take your hot glue and you just want to add a dab in between each one of those little slats so that you got a nice closed bag okay so you can do this before you turn your bag inside out or right side in I should say because we're inside out now okay and this is just going to help the bottom not tear open on you, even though you have your knots there. Okay, keep going. And you can always come back to it, like if you notice later on there being a little hole. That's what's so great about hot glue. Okay, so now we got the whole bottom done. We got our sides done. You might want to pull on it a little bit and make sure. See, like right here, I need a little more glue. Whichever way is comfortable for you to get the glue in there once it's already done. Okay, so we're just going to glue that up. 
So you want to do it this way so that it gives you a nice finished edge when you turn it inside out. Okay, so now we're going to turn it the way it's supposed to go. Okay, so that's all done. Here's our bag. Okay, now all we're going to do is take your last towel and you're going to cut these. This is the length of the towel. You're going to cut this part here six inches. So again, you can kind of measure your hand. Like I said, mine is from my thumb to my middle finger is six inches, so that's perfect. Once you have these cut, you're going to have two like this and you're going to have a little bit extra. And this little bit extra is what we are going to roll up. Okay, we're going to roll this up and we're going to glue this into this round thing and this is where we're going to put this. Okay, we're going to feed it all the way through the whole thing and it's just going to tighten it up. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Okay, so now for this, for the straps, you're going to fold it in. Okay. You're completely done. If you have an unfinished edge like I do on this one, you can fold it in. I'll show you one second. I just folded it in so that it was a nice finished edge, if that makes sense to you guys. Okay. Make sure you have a bag of glue sticks nearby because you need to work with the hot glue fast. So now we almost got this done. So this is what I mean if you want to fold in that unfinished edge. So you can do that all the way down. I just want to make mine a little bit more even. Okay. Hot glue is like one of my favorite glues. Like a lot of people ask, can I make certain things with certain fabrics? It works on this, but hot glue will show through certain things. It works great on terry cloth, but it doesn't work good like on our other placemat purses. It would make it too stiff and you need that adhesive for fabric in order to make that bag look nice. Okay, so, and then a lot of times people say this is a great project for kids and it is, but the hot glue is not something that I would recommend. So here is one done. Let's do the other one real quick. This is the little tag I said to pull off because you don't want that in there. Oh. And then maybe what I would suggest is I didn't do it on this one, I know I did it on the other one, is when you're cutting your six inches, start at the edge so that your center is the small piece. You want to make this, see like I cut this edge, I should have cut it where this is six inches, the other side is six inches, and this one is just an unfinished edge. It doesn't really matter, but it'll make your bag look a little nicer. Okay, so we got that done. So that's all done. Now, we're going to do this real quick. So this one, you're just gonna start rolling. I'm gonna show it to you in one second so that you understand what I'm saying. You're gonna glue it and roll, glue it and roll. But I'm going to show you in one second what I mean, just so that you get it all the way. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, so this is what I mean about glue and roll. Okay, so I have it halfway done now. Now I'm just going to add the hot glue to this edge so that I have my roll, my center piece completely done. And you're not going to see this. I just did it this way, so it doesn't matter how perfect the center piece is because you're not going to see it. It's going to be inside the bag. Okay? So you have your two straps done. You have your whole bag done. Now you're going to add this inside here. Okay? And we're just doing that to give it a little bit of, you know, stability. So you're just going to feed this through here. Now some of you might want to use like a hanger or something. I wish I had something nearby that I could get this through. I don't think I have anything thin to do that with. So I'm not going to finish this part because I don't want to take up too much time. But if that's what you're going to do. You're going to feed this through. I'm trying to think of what I might have at the store here that would allow me to do that. I don't want to hold everybody up. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to feed that through here. So you don't have to do it that way. And then you're going to add these two straps on here. Now you want the straps to go in this way so that they're a finished edge. Okay? You want to do it that way. And again, you want to glue it and giving yourself a little bit of room on the outside edge. Okay? I'm going to show you real quick in one second what I mean. I'm trying to think while I'm doing this what I have in the store that I could feed it with because if I had a hanger or something that would work perfect. Okay, so you just want to make sure both sides. And I kind of estimate everything. I kind of just go with what I got. Okay, so we got one on there. So just make sure when you put your straps on that they're like this. And then add a little glue to the inside of this tab here. See this tab? You're going to have an opening here. You want to glue this shut. Okay? So that's done. Let's put the other one on. our little sides on our strap there and close it here. Okay, you just want to do that so the material's not flopping around and it'll be strong so you can do um, as much or a little glue as you want. Okay, and this will hold up if you wash it in the washing machine. You just got to make sure you use enough glue. And if you have a small opening somewhere, just re-glue it. That's all. Sure, if you sew things, things are going to be a lot different. But here is your beach bag. How cute is that? Okay, the only thing that I didn't do was I didn't feed this through because I don't want to take everybody's time up. But what you're going to do is you're going to go through this. You're going to feed it through. But you're going to keep tightening it as you go all the way around this whole thing. Now, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. And we could have did it where we put it in first before we glued it down. I just didn't do it that way. So it just depends on how you want to do it. And see the difference here, how it's kind of floppy here? On this one, it's not like that because I put that little piece in here. So you can see it's kind of more scrunched together. And that's from putting that center piece in. And once you get the center piece in all the way around, see it's right here. It's right here, this little round rope, more or less. And I just glued it off in there, and you're done. But look at how cute this was, and what did it take us? Nothing but a few minutes to make. So it's really, really cute. And I'm going to log off now so I can add my tube inside my bag and finish it off. So this is three 
dish towels from Dollar Tree and some hot glue, some scissors, and a tape measure. Have fun and we'll see you on the next one. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that I got my little piece in here so you can see that the bag closes real nice. Okay, so like it's not flopping around up here anymore. And this is what I found in my store, which is just some floral wire with some floral tape around it. And what I did was I started on one end and I folded back my little piece of circle here. So you're going to fold it back like this see my little thing here and you're gonna stick it in the hole okay like that and you're just gonna push it in and you're gonna pull it out one side and then you're gonna come up the other side here here's the other side and you're gonna do the exact same thing you're gonna use a pointy like a hanger would work perfect just put your material on there stick it in your hole just like you would for a sweat jacket to get the string back in to pull it tight you can do the exact same thing and then when you get to the very end you're gonna have your completed circle here so here's one here's the other you glue it down and now you're all set with your cute little bag so you just pull this where you want it so that it's even all the way and we're all done. So now we have a nice little opening and a nice little closing there. So that is it. And you're ready to hit the beach.